So getting ready to start off the new year, 2020, trying to figure out where you want to put your money into. What do you want to invest in? You know, is there, are you going to go with a well-known stock such as Google, Amazon, or Facebook? Or are we going to take a look at some of these dividend stocks that everyone keeps talking about today? Let's find out, and I'll talk to you more about it today. Passive Ring with Tom bringing you another show this Friday, trying to talk to you about you know, what's the difference between owning 50000 in a stock and 50000 in a passive income stock? Talk about what the difference is and really which one may really makes more sense. And you tell me what you think. Would you tell me what you think of which one is better? I mean, both are very different, you know. Both give you different different advantages to both. And also and pros and cons to, to it as well. So let's talk about it today and we'll see which one really makes more sense. All right. Before we get into that, though, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, make sure you, make sure you do. And if you're a new visitor, you know, welcome. You know, Every Friday, I talk about a passive income video, something dealing with passive income, really something to change your life, something really put money in your pocket. You can't run that Social Security to put money in your pocket. You really got to look for something different, something that's going to feasible, tangible, something really put money in your pocket, something you can really feel and you know, play with every day. Uh, but today, we're going to talk about a little something different today. <clears throat> this one's really about, you know, if you have $50,000 in a stock, such as Google, Amazon, and Facebook, those are the three I'm going to talk about today. And you have fifty thousand in another, you know, passive income stock, such as uh, the one I'm talking about today is Sun, you know, Sunoco. It's a pretty much oil and gas stock. And really, which one really makes more sense? I was trying to pick a stock that would be more tangible and also something I own. I own, I own Sun, you know. <clears throat> and so this one, I can, I really can feel I can talk about it in something you can really get a hold of and get a grasp, get a good idea about it. Um, <clears throat> so when we get into that. It's Fifty thousand. So I just try to break down easy, evenly. Uh, don't really do. I'm not. In, I'm not really getting into any numbers, but really just break it down based on how much, how many stocks you would have based on that. You know, so fifty thousand in Google, you'd have thirty-seven shares of Google with fifty thousand dollars at a cost of. This is a Monday when I'm shooting this. So thirteen twenty-one is what I saw it uh, quoted as today. Uh, Facebook. You'd have 257 shares of Facebook. You know, 257 shares of Facebook at an average cost of $194.87. Amazon, you'd have 28 shares of Amazon at a cost of $1,730.46 for one share of Amazon. So it's really not a whole lot when you look at those numbers. But then when you look at Sun, if you had Sun, $50,000 and um, Sun, $10, excuse me. Uh, that would bring you about 680 shares. I just want to keep it really simple. Don't really break it down too much. Uh, but for that, so when you break down the two, you know, okay, say you had, you know, this X amount within Google, Amazon, Facebook, you know, the shares I just mentioned, um, 37 shares of Google, 257 shares of Facebook, uh, 28 shares of Amazon. But then if you had Sun, you know, Sun, you have 49,000, you know, about we can round off 50,000, whatever. And you had about 680 shares of Sun, but Sun will pay you a dividend. All right, Sun will pay you a dividend uh, based off those four months when it does that. Okay, so for Sun to pay you, when it pays their dividends, it pays you four times a year: uh, February, May, August, November. You know, it pays you four times a year. So if you had fifty thousand dollars invested in Sun, <coughs> Sun, as I mentioned, it would, it would give you. Um, yeah, 1,580 shares of Sun. All right, it's not it's not impossible, but it, it is doable. You know, and you can do it. And so that would pay you 3,160 a year. It's not including any any raise or any increases within the dividend. I'm just looking at the straight or off of that last month I got paid. And so if, if it paid you 3,160 a year, you break it down per month. You know, break it down over a month. It give you 263 dollars a month in addition. You know. If you broke it down by quarter, when it would pay you, it'd pay you seven hundred ninety dollars a quarter. I mean, that's pretty good money coming in. But if you had, you know, Google, Facebook, Amazon, what do you have? You have the stock. You own the stock. Nothing else. Nothing more. Nothing less. Um, at this time, I'm not paying any more dividends. Not paying you any dividends. So it's, you know, really think about it. So you can go. You can go brag to your friends. Say, hey, I own Google. I own Amazon. I own Facebook. You know, and they'll be like, yeah, that's great. You know. But you don't have any more money coming in because of that. So if you want to get money, you've got to sell those stocks. And if you sell those stocks, you're gonna you could get taxed if it's not held in a taxable account. So, and you will get taxed. Same thing with the dividend. You'll get taxed with with dividends as well. 
but you'll still own the shares of those stocks and you're not going to lose any value. You're not going to lose any, um, you don't have any decreases within the stock itself. You'll still own Sun in whole. You'll still own that, you know, 49000 or whatever, $49,000, $50,000 that, that, uh, within that stock. <clears throat> but if you sell, you know, you sell your Google, Facebook, Amazon, you'll just, you'll have those, that, you'll have that money but you won't have that share anymore. That's a big difference. That's a, a key difference with uh, owning a dividend stock versus another stock. So you really gotta think about it. Which one makes more sense to you? Which one do you really need? Do you need to hold on to a stock? You know, you hold on to that asset or do you wanna hold on to an asset as well as it pays you as well? So you gotta look at the two and tell me which one makes more sense. Um, so tell me what, down below, you know, do you own any dividend stocks? Are you a dividend investor? Or are you pr primarily you know, a stock investor, like a growth investor? So I, I, yes, there is some growth owning the other three, but there is some growth, uh, minimal growth owning the uh, dividend stocks, but you're, owning, you're getting that passive income coming along with it, the dividend, you know, the dividends coming out of it. So th there's you know, the, the pros and cons of both of them, but you know, which one do you really need today? You know, if you're going out, going out tomorrow, you know, wouldn't you like to have money coming into you every month or would you just rather have that stock sitting in your, in your brokerage account just sitting there, you know, going up and down or whatever, whatever it may be doing at the time. So, so when you really think about it, you know, what do you really own your stock for? Why do you own your stock? What are you going to do with your stock? You know, what is your, what is your objective for your stock? I'm investing in passive income stocks, dividend stocks, so I can earn that money and so I can just sit back and chill, sit back and relax. So I don't have to go and worry about, you know, Yes, I have this, this, these stocks here, but if I happen to sell it one day, then it's going to be, yeah, I sell it and I'll have to pay the taxes on it and I won't own that stock anymore. But if you own a dividend stock, you're getting that, you know, the dividends coming in paying you, you know, quarterly or whatever it may be, whatever stock you have to pick. So think about it. Which one makes more sense to you? Owning that 50000 in Google, Amazon, or in um, uh, Facebook, or 50,000 and you know sun or whatever whatever stock you can pick whatever is your favorite stock or a couple favorite stocks you know wh which one makes you which one makes you feel better which one makes more sense to you you know you have money coming into you uh, quarterly monthly whatever it may be or you have you know just owning that those assets sitting there so it, it's you know think about it you know you want to sit what do you want to do in the future do you want to sit back and keep working the rest of your life or do you want to have <clears throat> yes you can be retired you can have these <clears throat> excuse me these assets sitting there but are they paying you any money? Are they giving you any money? Are they paying you anything? If you own a dividend stock, it's paying you in the future, so you can sit back and do whatever you want to do, and you're getting paid off of that. So it's really it's a mindset shift. I know it's, it may not be what you're interested in, but if you want to get into passive income, that's what you got to do. It's it's a shift. You're shifting from holding these tangible assets to holding a tangible asset that pays you. All right. So think about it. Um, leave me a comment discussion below. But I just want to bring this really out to you really quick. Try to really break it down to you. I don't think anyone really talks about that, but I want to really break it down to you. You know, comparing these these world these famous stocks or these stocks that are really not as well known, but they're paying you money. So think about it and leave me a comment below. If you haven't liked this video, subscribe, click the bell for notification. I'll bring you back in next Friday with another passive income video. All right, take care. Have a great day.